No matter what diet we follow, it's very likely that we fall into the 70% of people who don't consume enough omega-3, a vital nutrient that keeps us healthy and helps to correct fatty liver, skin aging, and a long etc. that we will see. Now I need to know how it's best to incorporate it, in the diet or in supplements, but if I choose to take it in capsules, this will not be without risks. There are people who simply cannot consume them. Omega-3 is an essential fatty acid, meaning our body needs it to function properly, but it cannot create it on its own. We need to consume it. And today we face a great challenge, a nutrient that acts against omega-3 and our health, the omega-6, which are fatty acids that inflame our body. And since we started using vegetable oils like soybean, corn, and sunflower, rich in omega-6, we have broken the necessary balance between omega-3 and 6. And now, it is estimated that for every anti-inflammatory omega-3 in our body, we have between 4 and 10 harmful omega-6. Therefore, if I'm experiencing symptoms like fatigue, joint pain, digestive problems, or low mood, it could be due to a high consumption of omega-6 and a low consumption of omega-3. So today we will look at the benefits of omega-3, especially the main types, DHA and EPA, and then how to take it to recover our levels, both through diet and in supplement form, and some risks of these capsules. The first benefit of omega-3 is in our weight control. This nutrient has the ability to regulate our metabolism, preventing us from accumulating fat. Moreover, it is this effect that makes this fatty acid a valuable ally in any weight loss routine. Several studies have shown that consuming it daily helps to reduce our abdominal perimeter, thanks to precisely this mechanism, balancing and adjusting when our body should store or burn fat according to our energy needs. And not only that, omega-3 also plays an important role in regulating our appetite through hormones like leptin and ghrelin. Omega-3 helps us feel satisfied after eating, thus preventing excessive consumption or snacking. And also, by improving our insulin sensitivity, this nutrient protects us against large blood sugar spikes, which easily lead to cravings or binges. The second benefit of omega-3 is its impact on our heart health. This fatty acid is a great protector of our cardiovascular system. It reduces our levels of triglycerides, those unwanted fats for our figure, but also for our blood. And it does so by decreasing the levels of these triglycerides by up to 30% in a few weeks, helping us to prevent cholesterol plaques and other elements that clog our arteries. Also, omega-3 are key in regulating our blood pressure, helping to keep our heart without overloads, and will improve our circulation by contributing to the function of our endothelium, which is the layer that lines the arteries, helping to prevent the formation of dangerous clots and fighting inflammation in our heart and arteries from its base. The third benefit of omega-3 is its role in our brain health. In fact, this fatty acid can be considered the building material for a healthy and active brain. Omega-3 makes up 20% of all the fats in our cerebral cortex. So, it's no wonder that we've seen in many studies that it helps to improve our memory, speed up thinking, and act as a shield against our cognitive decline associated with age. In addition, omega-3 has proven to be an effective protector for our neurons against oxidative stress by promoting their repair. But there's more for our brain. This nutrient will also be an ally in our mental health, as its regular consumption is able to alleviate symptoms of depression and anxiety. Of course, this is not going to replace consultation with my doctor or psychologist if I have any of these symptoms, but omega-3 can be a very useful natural element as a complement to any treatment to improve my anxiety levels or mood. The fourth benefit of omega-3 is in our eye health. These fatty acids combat oxidative stress caused by UV light from the sun and other environmental factors that spoil our vision and have shown that they can reduce our risk of suffering from cataracts. And not only that, omega-3s help protect our retina, which is the layer of our eye responsible for detailed vision, something especially useful for people with diabetes as it helps prevent diabetic retinopathy and preserve vision. Furthermore, Several studies have shown that it can help reduce eye pressure, a key factor in preventing glaucoma and alleviate dry eye syndrome, as omega-3 helps regulate our tear production. Fifthly, we have the anti-inflammatory effect of omega-3. This nutrient can be considered as the great firefighter of our body as it helps to extinguish our inflammation and prevents it from spreading and causing greater damage. We know that chronic inflammation, little by little and silently, lays the groundwork for some diseases in our body. Without going any further, we have seen that the consumption of omega-3 reduces inflammation and pain in diseases such as arthritis to the point of needing lower doses of anti-inflammatory medications, which for all those people who live with chronic inflammation and pain translates into enjoying their daily activities 
with greater ease and less discomfort. And not only that, this nutrient can also protect our digestive system by helping to reduce its inflammation, especially in those who have irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's disease, or ulcerative colitis. Sixthly, we have the benefits of omega-3 in our skin. Indeed, this essential nutrient will help us to preserve the firmness of our skin and combat the signs of aging. That is, it will not increase our collagen and reduce our wrinkles, but we have verified that it protects our appearance from the damage of oxidative stress in our day-to-day, -day, whether from the sun or pollution. Now, if we talk about its anti-inflammatory power, omega-3 has been successfully used to alleviate inflammatory skin conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, or acne outbreaks, reducing redness, itching, and regulating sebum production. Seventhly, we have the benefit in our immune system. These fatty acids not only calm excessive inflammation, which is a key component of many chronic diseases, but they also strengthen our natural defenses against pathogens and diseases. Without going any further, a study published in the Journal of Leukocyte Biology reveals how omega-3 makes our defensive cells, such as lymphocytes and macrophages, improve their ability to respond to threats, something essential if we want to maintain an alert and effective immune system. And now that I know the benefits of omega-3 in my body, before I tell you in which cases we should take supplements and their dosage, we need to know the risks these capsules have for our health and why not everyone can consume them. First, we know that high doses of omega-3 can cause bleeding in predisposed people, especially if they take anticoagulant drugs. Second, in some people, omega-3 supplements can cause diarrhea and heavy digestion and even experience reflux. This is due to the high fat content of omega-3, which makes it difficult to digest. Third, we have seen interaction with various drugs such as anti-diabetics, anticoagulants, or for hypertension. So if I take any medication or suffer from any disease, I should consult with my doctor if my intention is to incorporate omega-3 as a supplement into my daily life. And now, how do we ensure a good supply of omega-3? First, the omega-3s we need, and that will give us the benefits we have seen, are EPA and DHA, which are found in oily fish and some algae. But today this is changing. Most of the fish that traditionally have had omega-3 DHA are now usually from fish farms, and these are not usually rich in fatty acids because they don't eat their usual food, the one that all small fish in the ocean or rivers eat, phytoplankton, a group of microalgae that is the base of the marine food chain and does have omega-3 fatty acids like EPA and DHA because they create them through photosynthesis. Now, there is another type of O3 found in plants. ALA, or alpha-linolenic acid, present in nuts and some seeds like flaxseed, which can be converted into useful forms of omega-3, something our body seems capable of doing, or so we thought. It turns out that the amount we convert from this alpha-linolenic or plant-based omega-3 into useful omega-3s is very little, not even reaching 8%. So if I follow a plant-based or predominantly vegetarian diet, I would need excessive amounts of these seeds or nuts to meet the daily requirements of omega-3. Moreover, this has been a controversial topic until recently, but over the years, the idea that nuts and seeds have useful omega-3 has crumbled. We have a review of X studies from 2022 in which it was seen that consuming high doses of flaxseed seeds did not serve to increase the omega-3 levels of the participants. However, supplementation with microalgae oil did increase omega-3 levels in all trials. So, if you follow an omnivorous or pescetarian diet, the recommendation of the guidelines is to consume oily fish two or three times a week. And if, like me, you follow a plant-based diet or are vegetarian, you can skip the fish and go directly to the source, consuming these supplements or microalgae oil that are increasingly widespread, with most nutrition entities recommending a dose of between 250 and 500 milligrams of a mix of EPA and DHA. But above all, the most important thing for my health and for my O3 levels will be to stay away from vegetable oils such as soy, corn, palm, or sunflower rich in omega-6, increasingly present in stores and that I do not want at all in my body. And thank you very much for staying with me until here. Tell me, do you take omega-3 supplements or do you cover it with your diet?